Hello everyone, welcome back to Everything Swift. Today we'll be tackling legal questions 572 titled Subtree of Another Tree. In this question, we are given two parameters here, uh, named root of type optional tree node and subroot uh, of also type optional tree node. Basically, our task for today is to find out whether within this uh, tree node root uh, parameter here, uh, if it has a subtree that matches this uh, parameter of subroot here. So as you can see here, the subroot, uh, which is this parameter here, is basically a tree uh, that is for, uh, the root is for the left child is 1 and the right child is 2. And within the root itself, there is actually a subtree which is 4 and 1 and 2. So as we can see here, 4, 1, 2 matches the, uh, the subroot here. So basically that's about it, uh, that's the task that we are supposed to do today. So this question is uh, labelled as easy in Likud and I think like uh, it serves as a foundation for more challenging questions related to uh, binary search tree or trees. Essentially we are going to do a uh, recursion uh, which most tree and binary search tree uh, would use such a common technique to solve the problem. So basically that is the strategy we are going to uh, check whether first of all if the root exists uh, this tree exists if it doesn't then basically this whole operation is uh, not required and we can return false if it does what we're going to do is at every point of the way we're going to check uh, whether it matches the value of the subroot uh, within this uh, tree node so basically we're going to use a recursion format uh, to traverse the entire tree and while traversing, we are going to check whether it is uh, the same as the sub. So I think it's pretty short, but uh, I think the code is going to be much more useful than my explanation in terms of visualizing how the uh, recursion works. So I'm just going to straight jump right into the code. So as I said, I'm going to check if the root exists. If it's not, let's go ahead and uh, return false because it doesn't exist. And then the next one is uh, where we're going to do the traversal. So I'm just going to call this as a method is same and just pass in the root and subroot here. And, in, and if uh, they are the same, then basically I'm just going to return true. If not, uh, we're going to do a recursion uh, where uh, we're going to traverse the left side and the right side of the tree. And at each uh, child, uh, left and right, we're going to compare and find out whether the subroot exists within that uh, path. So what we're going to do here is go ahead and check subtree, which is this method here. This is a recursion. And then here we're going to pass in root left, but we're going to keep the subroot the same, right? Because we are actually just traversing the parent or this uh, root tree, right? Uh, and when we traverse uh, this tree, we're actually comparing with the subroot. So Essentially, we don't have to traverse the subroot. We just need to pass it into the uh, this parameter here so that in the subsequent uh, recursive function, we're actually comparing the values against the entire subroot, right? So uh, this is traversing to the left side of the uh, root here. And then what we're going to do is return this subtree and also traverse the right side. So right, and then the same thing subgroup we're just going to pass in because we need the whole uh, structure of it rather than traversing the sub. So I named this uh, function here is same so let's go ahead and create that is same and it's going to take I'm just going to call it node A and node B of type tree node and node D is also tree node and it will return a boolean because we're going to use this in this conditional check here so what we're going to do first is like uh, we're going to check whether if in either of these uh, nodes are nil or not, right? So if node A is nil or node B is nil, so what we're going to do is actually check if both are nil. If both are nil, then I guess it's true. If it's both are not nil, then it's also true. But if one of them is not uh, nil, then I guess that is false, right? And then the next one is basically we have to check whether if the value of both the parameters is the same, right? 
So just think about this, like imagine we are at this point here, 4 and 4 is the same. Okay, so what do we do now? So we know that these two uh, nodes are the same. So we can continue the recursion and go down to the left and the right side uh, to continue comparing the values of the subgroup and the subtree. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to perform the recursion here and just call that method is sum, which is this one. And what we're going to do is because we need to traverse, uh, so we're going to pass in the left side. And this time the subroot, uh, which is this B here, we are supposed to traverse as well. Because in this is same method, we are actually comparing the values. Whereas uh, for this top part here, we are actually just like traversing the parent tree only. So over here, we need to also do not b dot left because we're going to the left side so imagine like four and four now we're going to one and this one goes to one right and then what we're going to do here is also n because we want to make sure they're exactly the same uh so it's an n operator here not b not a sorry uh going to the right side not b going to the right so this is when the uh values oops let me miss this out so if the values of both the node, like for example 4 and 4 is the same, then we continue to traversal. In the event that these both uh, nodes are not having the same value, then we know for sure they are really not the same. So we can just go in and return false. So I think that's about it. Uh, let me just go ahead and run this and hopefully we get it right on the first attempt. There we go. Let's try another test case here oops not in our expected sub group uh, sub group here right right um, looks fine to me the same sub group here is there anything wrong here there we go I don't know what happened there uh, you guys saw it as well there was something funny I didn't change anything but this looks right so let's just go ahead and submit that there we have it we got it right for the first attempt so essentially just to recap our task for today is to within this uh, root tree here we're supposed to find out whether the subroot exists within this entire tree and how do we do that is basically recursive uh, we perform recursion to traverse throughout the tree and at each point in time if the value is the same we continue the uh, traversal uh, so that's about it and as i mentioned uh, this is pretty much a common technique to solve a uh, more complex tree and binary search tree kind of problem where we will use recursion uh, to kind of like just go from well, one node to another uh, within the tree so pretty handy uh, technique to recognize to solve more complex problems. So as always, uh, if you guys find this kind of video helpful, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to grow this channel as best as I can. And please feel free to share to anyone who would find this video helpful. So thank you very much. Take care and bye-bye.